But moving on to the, what looks like probably the third time MVP, Nikola Jokic, uh, game winning three against the Magic, time expiring. Also had his 70th career triple double last night. Uh, Magic head coach Mosley said after the game, an MVP type player makes the MVP type play. That's what it came down to. Ahem. This conversation will go on until the awards are handed out, but Chandler, is Jokic starting to really distance himself in this thing? I think so, and I think this season, it's 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 so close because every night, every week, one of these MVP finalist guys has an explosive night, has a crazy night where it makes us think, Uh, Maybe, you know, maybe he's in the lead now. Maybe he's, you know, you know, so it kind of keeps going back and forth. But when you watch Jokic last night, the guy took 11 shots. He went eight eight for 11. He's so efficient. The way he plays, we really have never seen a big play like this where you can initiate the offense through him. He gets the rebound. He takes it coast to coast. He's the guy shooting 62% from the field because he doesn't take bad shots. He doesn't force his vision is unbelievable. Unbelievable! Uh, at the beginning of the season, I was I was finding every excuse to be like, no way I can give this guy a third MVP. Someone else, give it to a Luca, give it to a Tatum who's having a great year on the best team. I can't. This guy is unbelievable. <laughs> he's averaging 25. He's averaging a triple double. They're the best team in the Western Conference. Uh, and he makes everybody around him so much better. It's not just one of these guys with gaudy stats that's putting up 40, 50. This guy is making his team better. He's making his team the best team in the Western Conference pretty much for the majority of the season. Um, and it's so impressive what he's doing. So, yeah, I think it's him. And I, I and I think it's truly remarkable that he could possibly win Ooh. three in a row. That is unheard of. Look at that. Yeah, I think, he's, I think he's... I think he's running away with it. I mean, I've been calling the MVP a narrative award for some time and, and the narrative is building. And the only narrative block he had was voter fatigue. And now the voters are fighting back at voter fatigue. They're saying, yo, that's not a real thing. That shouldn't exist. This is in a <laughs> vacuum. Doesn't matter. Like suddenly we've shifted the narratives. Last year, the narrative was like, yo, they would have never been in the sixth seed if he wasn't there and he wins the MVP. This year it's well, he's the one seed and he has the best stats. So now he's the MVP. Uh, he, he, I'm not trying to diminish what he's doing. He's playing incredibly well. But if you just look at the way people vote and the things that they weigh when they do that, Luca is seven games back in the standing. So if you had him as close, that's that's a big enough gap. Uh, Jason Tatum, we're already kind of writing him off as, as a competitor here for the award. Kevin just went down for two, three, maybe four weeks. And so who is left? Giannis, they're slipping and they're up and down all season long. The MVP is his to lose at this point, halfway through the season. And it's, it's, you know, it's kind of like the coronation of, of Jokic right now. And like all the things Chandler said, he's averaging a triple double. He's got the best record in the West. He's, he's looking incredible night in and night out. And so I get it. I can hear the noise. I can see the noise. I can see the narrative already building up help. If he remains healthy, that award is his. Let's talk about the other awards. And, and the combo is already over as far as I'm concerned. Wow. Right. How about how stoic? <laughs> how about how stoic he was? Like he hits that it's a crazy shot, game winner, and he just has no reaction at all. I love <laughs> I love the fact that Nikola Jokic is gonna just be him unabashed. And so uh shout out to Nikola Jokic for that. But I think if this team is the number one seed in the West, um it's hard not to look at him as as, as the MVP for sure. And I know if you're Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets, the, the expectations that they've set on themselves is trying to win a championship. So they've been to the conference finals before. If they get the number one seed, individual accolades are cool. But I know what this team is going to be going for, what Calvin Booth is going to be aiming for, is try to get this team to a championship. And so uh, those are going to be the expectations, especially if they get the number one seed. But it's going to be tough to deny Nikola Jokic of an MVP if they're the number one seed in the West. By the way, the Nuggets have been doing a good job of putting out content. There's a pop culture contest between he and Jamal Murray that just shows his person. I mean, his personality, it's something. It, it, it's funny to watch and it's adorable. And, and that's all I have to say, because it sounds creepy after that. Uh, we're taking a quick break right here. But we've got the latest on my favorite thing in the whole wide world, the slam dunk contest. And the latest edition of That Man Has a Family when we return. The running back, yeah, yeah. 